everyone welcome to our channel Rebecca Stu and the crew I'm Rebecca and today we have a Dollar Tree DIY for you guys using items from the Dollar Tree we'll be making these three different items here we'll go over the supplies for each one the supplies for the first craft that we're going to be making are these pumpkins we're going to use two Dollar Tree slinkies from the toy section we'll need some spray paint and then we are going to need a hanger to hang them to dry also I'm going to use two of these candlesticks from Dollar Tree two of the square glass mirrors and also some of their berry garland we're also going to use some different fall floral pieces and some hot glue and scissors we'll need some stems i just got these off a tree outside so let's get crafty so really easy to make so the first thing we're going to do is separate the slinkies because they kind of come all um connected and you have to pull them apart a little bit to be able to separate them and paint in between the pieces so we'll do the first one i just open it up in a circle like this and i spray paint um, just one coat of paint of the metallic silver and i'm going to just do the top portion so once i did the first coat i hung it on the hanger to dry outside it's really hot here in texas it only took a few minutes and then actually the hanger helped a lot i just hung it on a hook in the um, garage and then i could pull the pieces apart and make sure that i had the whole entire slinky well saturated and covered so it did take two coats of paint to completely cover all of the yellow but then just a few minutes to dry so i did one with the silver and then one in the metallic copper then i took these twigs just off of a tree outside that i cut down to size and i'm going to spray paint those as well the same color as the pumpkins and we'll let those dry and once those are dry, we can put this all together. So we're just going to take some hot glue and put it around the um, hoop part here of the slinky. And then you'll want to turn it on its side and bring it around and attach the side. Now what did find, I did find helpful was these little finger guards for hot glue from the Dollar Tree and a clip. That way you can clip it together while it's drying and you don't have to hold it. Just took a few minutes. And then I did the second one, which you can see in the background there, it's already done. And then once those were dry, we're just going to take some hot glue. And then I have this fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to use that on the bottom to attach these to the mirror. Once we have those attached to the mirror, we're just going to add a little bit of that glue to the slinky along with some hot glue. And then we'll stretch it over the candlestick. And that'll help it to stick on the side. I got a little bit of glue up there at the top. I just erased that with a wet wipe. And then the stem will just glue in the center again with the um, Dollar Tree glue and some hot glue. And we'll do the same to the second. I really recommend because it's glass, the hot glue doesn't stick real well. So using two kinds of glue to glue this whole thing together. So now we can start decorating them. So I actually had this leftover um, poinsettia clip from Dollar Tree from last year, and I thought it matched this pumpkin a little bit better than some of the fall flowers that I had. So I cut a few of the petals off of the flower, and I'm going to glue those on. But first, I am going to take this um, berry garland from Dollar Tree and just wrap it around the um, candlestick top a few times, and then I wrapped the ends around a pencil to create like little vines that are coming off the sides of the pumpkin you can add some hot glue if you glue here if you want to it's not really necessary since there is a wire in that very garland but it does help to hold it on and keep it in place so once i have that all attached then i just went in with the um, glitter petals that i took off of that poinsettia flower and i kind of tried them out before i glued them in i moved them around a few times to see where i like them before i committed and added the glue then i'm taking some small white flowers that i cut off of the stems and i'll glue these all around the top just to help fill it in a little bit and give it some more added decoration and I made sure that I worked all the way around so that I had the decoration all sides here and made it look really pretty I put a few little pieces inside the top part where the stem is as well just to help fill in that whole area and help it not to look empty and now for the copper one, we're going to use these fall leaves from Dollar Tree. They brought these back this year, which was nice. I really like them a lot. And then they have these really pretty looking wildflowers that they have out right now. And I cut those apart and I'm just going to glue the different pieces around the pumpkin like we did the silver one. So as you can see, I have a little bit of green stems that I'm um, gluing inside 
the top by the stem, uh, the wood stem that we added there. And then we're just taking a few of the leaves and just decorating all the way around and filling it in just like we did the other one. So you can add as much as you want here or as little. A bow would even look really cute at the top. It's really just personal preference. So these are really easy to do. You're just gluing, painting, and that's it. It's really not hard at all. And now we have these two faux metal pumpkins, which I just absolutely love. So here is the silver one, all complete, and the copper. And now for our second craft. This week I found these adorable glass bread pans from Dollar Tree, and I thought it would be fun to make a faux loaf of bread. So let's go over the supplies. We'll need one of their foam craft pumpkins, the glass um, bread pan here also a craft knife and then we are going to need some different colors of brown and orange paint some paint brushes and also some twine i'm going to use a wet paper towel as well and then a clear cellophane bag or a bread bag also one of these drop brand tags so let's get crafty so this one's really easy so all you're going to do is take your craft knife and you are going to cut right along this seam right here to separate the two pieces of the pumpkin now it's still a little bit too large to fit in the pan so i had to keep trimming it until i could get it um, small enough i didn't want it to stick up really high like you see it doing right here so i kept cutting it down until i had it to where it looked like this and it was only about two inches above the top you don't need any glue to attach this because it's a pretty tight fit you have to really squeeze that foam to get it down into that pan but once it does it's a nice tight fit there so now we're just going to take the craft knife and cut some slits in the top and this is to give it the appearance of a loaf of bread and it'll really show up once we paint it you don't have to be super careful about what it looks like because we are going to put this in the bread bag so the first color paint i'm using is called light mocha i'll tell you all the different layers that i use here and if you notice around the outside of this pan i did use some masking tape just to um, protect the ends just a little bit and it's really not necessary since it is glass it will wipe the paint will wipe off fairly easy if you don't wait too long to wipe it off if you get it on the glass so we're going to do this whole first coat in light mocha and then we will let it dry now this is the apple barrel uh, brand paint but you can use the acrylic paints from dollar tree and just mix the brown with a little bit of white until you get the color that you desire so for this light mocha we're just going to do one coat and then we'll let it mostly dry before we do the second coat. So about 10 minutes later, we go in with some watered down antiquing wax and we're going to go over top of those slits that we cut in the top because I really wanted that wax to get down into those um, spaces so that it would be nice and dark. And then we brush it out with a dry brush and then we'll take some watered down antiquing wax and just go all over the top. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, we're going to go in with another layer and we want this to look as realistic as possible. And bread, of course, when you cook it or bake it, it kind of gets brown in all different um, places and some places get a little bit darker than others. So we just want to lightly go over this with some watered down paint so we can still see that lighter color underneath. And we'll let this dry and then we go in with some pumpkin orange and we're just using a dry brush here so i have just a bare minimum amount of paint on the brush and we're just brushing over top of the pumpkin now we're going to take a light coat of caramel colored um, paint mixed with ivory to make this light vanilla color and we're going to just paint all over the top so i just dipped the brush one time and that's all i used for the whole entire top here so i looks like i have a lot at first but i just keep smudging it out until i have the whole top kind of covered and as you can see it's blending out and you can still see the dark underneath and then this is where that damp paper towel comes in once it's dried for about five minutes i just go in and lightly brush some of that top layer off so i can see the under um, colors underneath there i went a little too heavy-handed in one or two spots you can see the orange pumpkin underneath but i just touched it up once it was dry so once the whole thing's dry we're just going to put it in the cellophane bag 
If you need to tape the sides to make it smaller, you can. And then we'll tie a twine bow around the top. I did cut a little bit of the top of the bag off just because there was a bit too much there. And then taking one of these tags from the Dollar Tree, we're going to write pumpkin bread in an orange Sharpie marker. And then I take that antiquing wax on a dry brush and I brush over the tag to give it a little bit more of an aged look. It was really bright white and I didn't like the color. Once I have that done, I let it dry and then I went back over the pumpkin bread with the orange marker again just so I could see it a little bit better. And I used a brown Crayola to add some stitching around the outside of the tag just to give it a little bit more detail. And then all we will do with this tag is tie it around the top where the twine is. And here is our faux loaf of bread for the fall. This would look cute on a tower, like one of those tiered trays. And that's all for today's video. You guys, we do Dollar Tree videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and craft videos every single Thursday. So I hope you guys will come back and check out some of our other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. Have a great night, everyone.